Hello, and thank you for joining us for Webster University Library's new student orientation in about 10 minutes. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of library services and resources that can help you do your best work. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's that you should ask us for help. We recommend that if you're doing research for 20 minutes and you aren't having any luck, call the experts. This is a great, there are a great variety of ways to contact us. Um, you can come visit us at the second floor research desk if you are in St. Louis. Most of you are not in St. Louis. So you can email, call us, use our 24 hour chat feature, or visit our YouTube channel. Please take a moment to follow us on the social media channel of your choice for research tips and tricks, new resources, and fun photos from the archives. The library does provide books, but our main purpose is to support students as they, as they complete the important task of academic research. We do this by providing resources, most of which are available to our students all over the globe on the library website. We are research experts, and we're here to guide you at any stage of your research. Whether you're choosing a topic for your very first research paper or completing your doctoral thesis, we help you find information and apply it to your work. The ability to recognize information is reliable or un or unreliable is a skill that's important not just in class, but in the workplace and in our daily lives. And we can provide you with the tools and assistance to build the skills to do your best work. You can find the library homepage at library.webster.edu, or you can find a link at the bottom of any Webster University page. When we visit the home page, you can see very prominent is the Contact a Librarian button. That's because we want you to know that we are um, available and eager to help. If we click Contact a Librarian, we see all of our contact information, including that 24-hour chat box in the lower left-hand corner. Also, we have a Frequently Asked Questions list uh, that, can, that can help you find an answer quickly. Another great resource on our website are our research guides, located on the top bar under Help and Guides. A research guide is a roadmap to information on your topic. It might be specific to your major or course or to a research skill. It contains recommended databases, we'll discuss those in a moment, books, websites, citation information, and how to contact a librarian who's an expert in your field. Here you see Mary Ann, who works specifically with students in the School of Business and Technology. Now let's discuss more about how to find specific types of information. Library databases are collections of sources of information uh, that you can use for research. They do not just contain articles, but much more, including streaming videos. When we say articles, we're usually talking about scholarly articles. And these are written by experts in a field for other researchers and scholars. They go through a process called peer review that ensures that the information in them holds up to scrutiny. On the other end, we have popular publications. These are magazines, newspapers, things we might pick up in the grocery store that um, allow easier publishing for their authors than the peer-reviewed process. And these aren't necessarily bad, but there are times and places to use these things. Often your instructor will require scholarly articles, and I can show you some ways to make sure the, the, that the articles you're using meet those requirements. When we start our research, we should start with a question rather than a point we want to prove. This keeps us from veering away from our goals and helps ensure that we have the right size topic for our assignment. 
For instance, if our topic is human resources, we cannot cover that in a 10-page research paper. We could write many books and still not know everything there is to write about that topic. When we pick a smaller aspect of human resources and ask a question that we can answer in 10 pages. There are a few ways to start a search for articles. You can use page or the articles and databases button that you see here. So we have over 200 databases um, and that can be a daunting part of the research process to choose where to go first. Um, you can see we have them here classified by discipline, so whatever you're studying, but that's just a guideline. Don't be afraid to go outside that. You can also ask us for help and we can uh, guide you to, to a database that will have the information you're looking for. So here we see the list of recommended databases for human resources, or a portion of it. Um, so these are the collections of articles that we discussed earlier, and there will be some made specifically for the area where you're studying. And these have a short description of what's inside, uh, but if you're, if you're still not sure, you can always check with us. When you choose a database, you'll be asked to log in. Use your last name and seven-digit student ID. And if you don't know your ID number, on the lower left-hand corner of this box, there's a link to instructions on how to go into connections and find that. So once we are inside the database, we need to know what words we want to use to search. We will have a search box like you would see on Google. However, um, these collections of information, we have to be a little more selective about what words we're going to type in in the database. So we can always add or remove some, but just to get started, let's try multi-generational and workplace. So you can see here we've typed our search terms into the search bar and we get a list of articles related to those results. Don't get discouraged if you don't find exactly what you're looking for right away. Even librarians often try a few different words before we find the right combination. And there are many tools and tricks in this database to help you get the best results. Far too many to cover here in such a short video. Just a few uh, quick tips. On the left-hand side, you can see a box we can check to limit our results to scholarly and peer-reviewed journals, which will remove all the magazines and newspapers uh, that you might not be allowed to use for your assignment. We can also limit by date uh, that the results were published. So this can you know, help you meet requirements and make sure that the results you're using are timely, especially if your topic might be medical or legal in a field where things change very quickly. Please note that if we do not have access to an article, we can borrow it from you. If you're using Google to do research, don't ever pay for an article. Get the information about the article and we can request free access for you. It's easy and it will be delivered to you electronically. We do have print books, which you can use if you're at the home campus, and you can also request those if you're at an extended site or if you study online. But often it's more convenient to use ebooks. These are just like a regular book, but you read them on the computer like we saw with the journal articles and the databases. It works much the same way. You select an ebook in the catalog um, and you select what you want to read from your results. Then you'll log in with your student number. In many ways, they make it easier to find the information that you want than a print book because you can search within them rather than flipping to the back of the book and using an index. If you'd like to learn new research skills or review, if you haven't done research in a while, sign up for our library online presentations on the library website. 
We offer a variety of topics and they're led by a live research expert. You can also view recordings on our YouTube channel. We are here for you every step of the way. If you aren't sure about something later on or run into any research troubles, please contact us. We have the information that will help you make informed decisions and turn in your best work. Thank you for joining us today and happy searching.